Ah, good day to you. Uh, today we're gonna do, we're gonna become a better putter. You don't even have to practice. Gotta love it, let's go. Uh, okay, no messing around today. We're gonna jump right into tip number one for how to become a great putter without ever even really practicing because I know the average player you guys don't you don't practice your putting at least not like you should you might hit a roll, roll a few so we're gonna jump right in okay tip number one here it is when you get to the green and you walk up one ball is yours you got three others that aren't yours if you're playing with the group I want you to spend time not much but just as you're waiting you may have already putt your ball I don't care make sure you you read the break read the putt of the other three players in your group just go around look at it just and think about where it's going to break how it's going to break and watch that player as they putt see where they struck it see if you were correct in how that ball reacted okay i don't care how good or bad the other players are you want to practice reading the break of the other players in your group and this will give you 18 holes, reading four putts per green, 72 practice opportunities you have of reading a putt. You're gonna become a much, much better green reader if you just do that. So while you're waiting, make sure you're reading the breaks, the green, the putts of the other players in your group. Okay, something to remember about uh, your round and everything that you're doing is this. When you're playing golf, you're out here for four and a half hours or so, and let's say that's 270 minutes, and four and a half hours, 18 holes, whatever. Um, let's say you have 15 minutes a hole, that's your 270 minutes, divided by 18, 15 minutes per hole, and then you're going to spend, let's say, a minute per player on the tee box, a minute per player on the fairway, a minute per player on the green, that's 12 minutes. You have an extra uh, three minutes for whatever. It's typically gonna be around the green short game. So you can have seven minutes, roughly, per hole on the green. So that's why you wanna spend your time wisely out here. Don't just waste it, use it so you can get better. You're here anyways, you might as well improve. But if you don't do anything, forget it. You're not gonna be any good. Second tip, number two, is this. I want you to find the high point of the green. Where's the high point of the green? Okay, so here, this is high point. This slopes from this way to this way. So this, and actually, I'm, it's higher here. So this back of the green is my high point. So everything should break this direction. And since my ball is right here, I know it's gonna break a little uh, left to right because that's the high point over here so you want to find the high point as you're walking or driving up to the green make sure you find the high point of each green also keep in mind the high point of the golf course so for me um, the high point of the golf course is actually on the other side mountains over here highs over here going down into the valley which is behind me so downhill is toward the uphill side of my break so i want to remember this and calculate that so downhill according to the terrain is this way but according to this green it counteracts so it's going to make it break a little less than normal because you have two forces working against each other and you're going to need to know that stuff and factor it in see how much that calculates into each break you have Okay, next tip, tip number three is this. Uh, don't just chip it, okay? This is very important for putting, believe it or not, watch. 
sure, you can hit a decent chip or good chip or great chip um, just by chipping it. That's fine. But you're missing a huge opportunity here, okay? And it's this. With your chip shots, I want you to read it like a putt every time. So pick your landing spot like you should do, okay? And then from that point, I want you to start read, go and read the green. What you'll find is if you do that, your landing spot might actually change. Mine did because there's a huge slope in here that I can only see if I really get down there and read it like a putt. So when you're chipping, make sure you spend the time to read the putt side of it before you chip. This will also help you in determining where you want your next putt to come from, okay? So take time even examining, hey, if I miss, the chip or you where do I want to chip to to give myself the best putt for me it's a little past the hole below the hole so I'm gonna adjust my chip accordingly it's gonna help your chipping but it's also gonna help you make your next putt which is in essence gonna build more confidence plus you're gaining valuable green reading experience So as you can see, reading the putt, reading the chip as a putt changes things, makes you a better chipper, but also it'll make you a better putter because you will practice what you need, which is green reading skills, ability to see what's going on on the surface of the grass. Moving on. Okay, here's what you're gonna do, and you may like this, you may not, but uh, years ago, a friend of mine, uh, was he's a great putter, and he showed me this drill and uh, that he would do, and so I started doing it, it really helped me uh, become a better putter, and you can do it while you play, okay? So this is what I want you to do while you are waiting, so you've, you know, I don't expect you to do everything on every hole, but it'd be nice if you could, reading putts and uh, doing all that stuff, but. Here's something you can do in, and maybe integrate it into your practice stroke would be ideal is take the putter and just put it between your hands like so. So you're just pushing it together like that. So you're basically pushing your hands together to hold this and just take practice strokes like this. Now you might be a cross-handed putter, conventional, claw, grit, whatever, however you hold it, it doesn't matter. What we're trying to accomplish here is just taking our hands out of the stroke would be the goal, okay? We, don't, we want those as, as quiet as possible in putting. So I'm just gonna practice putt like this, then set up and do my normal thing. Try it, it may work for you, it may not, but it's definitely something that's gonna help you take your hands out of the stroke. That was, a, that was a first take, by the way. See, it works, it works. Moving on. Okay, last tip for you here uh, and it's the final final piece of the pie is what we're gonna do is this we are going to visualize and you've heard this before it's nothing new but if you can integrate it more on the course it's really gonna pay off for you I'm gonna visualize after I've done my reading and everything a dot a little circle uh, you know about the size of maybe a pea or something like that or a penny just in front of my ball about a foot or two that I want to roll the ball over. So, like this guy's a little right to lefter, up a slope. 
you can turn left at the end. But so I'm going to do all my reading, draw a line, and then pick a spot. So that T, that T is where I want to start it. Obviously, I can't put my T there or do anything, but so I need to find something around that place that I can look at and visualize and just get, because it's, it's, it's pretty easy to roll my, my ball from right here to there. Like I can hit that T almost every time. Like that's easy, hitting that T. Now I just got to extend it out, get the right uh, backstroke and we're good, okay? And uh, you know, sometimes at practice you can, um, you can just do that and then there's a little tiny little hole in the, in the green um, that you could see. So, you know, occasionally do that, obviously not in a match, but if you're just playing, trying to get better, you could do that. But in any case, look there, try to find a spot and roll your ball over that. Pretty good, it's right at it. So that's gonna give you the best chance to get it close. Pick your spot, pick your spot. There you go, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful and it's a great way to become a better putter really without uh, practicing, uh, can help. So do your practice while you're playing. If you're, you're out here for so long, do something productive. I used to work in a restaurant when I was in college and my boss was like, Matt, what are you doing? Don't stand around. Don't stand around, do some clean something. So uh, it just kind of ingrained in me that when you're doing something, just always be growing, always be learning, always be doing something. Don't just stand around and be a dork, right? Do something to improve what you're trying to get better at anyways. And you, you, you like it, you love the game. So let's do something to get it better. It will pay off. Easy stuff, you can do it. Thanks for watching. Please uh, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Love you guys. See you in the next video.